What's going on guys? Today's video is a little bit different because we're going to be kicking off the Security Plus series which is gonna be a series that is just going to outline some of the major things that I think you should know to pass your Security Plus certification. Today's first series topic is going to be VPNs. So I'm Cyber Tom. For any of you that do not know me, my channel is all about teaching cybersecurity, IT education, which is what I really have a passion for doing. And I want to help those who are on that journey to land the job of their dreams. So if you're somebody like that, hit the subscribe button down below and hit the bell so you get all my new videos when I upload them. And I'd love to talk to you. Drop down in the comments and I will try to get back to you as soon as I can. Let's get into this video, guys. So now I'm just going to go through and kind of give you a brief overview of what a VPN does at a very high level. The first thing that we have in a VPN set up is the client. And then we have the internet that you're trying to gain access to. Well, there is a connection that is made from your client over to the internet. The problem with that connection is that there are malicious attackers that are waiting to sniff that information that's going from you out to the internet. So what do we have to block that? Well, that is where the VPN comes in to create a secure and encrypted VPN tunnel. So guys, this ensures that there is no way for a middleman to get in between your data and the data that you're sending over the internet. So what are some of the use cases of a VPN? Well, there are entertainment reasons for it. There are security reasons for it. Some entertainment reasons could be things such as uh, simply going on Netflix and finding that the show or title you want to watch is only available in a different part of the world. You could easily VPN into that network of that data center that's in that country and you'll be able to then have access to titles that are in that part of the country which is pretty cool the other thing that people use it for commonly is gamers are you a gamer because i like to game once in a while and i can tell you when i get into lobbies that are repetitive and sometimes a little bit too hard for an everyday guy like me uh sometimes you want to go play somewhere else so with a vpn you could easily if you're on the east coast vpn to a server on the west coast you'll get put into those lobbies and you can play over there with a different group of people it's a fun thing to do and it's another use case for vpns now what else do you use them for security security is a major reason why we use vpns a lot of you have asked me what do you do when you work remote well nine times out of ten your organization is going to put you on a vpn that's going to bring you into their network this ensures that your data is being encrypted and that it is safe from your house into your data center so you can actively work on devices or network configurations problems, anything like that within your company's network. That being said, while you are brought into the network on a secure um, tunnel, I think that it's good to say that you should still be practic practicing, I can't talk today, Today, Junior! Ethical um, internet traversing, whether you're on the VPN or not. And guys, that's gonna bring me to the sponsor of this video, which is Pure VPN. Use Pure VPN to protect your privacy and stay anonymous while you traverse the internet. You can also use Pure VPN to improve your gaming experience. And that means that you're able to VPN to another location and play from their servers uh, as well, which is amazing. As a cybersecurity professional, another thing that I love about Pure VPN is the fact that they retain a no log policy um, that you will not be logged when you are on the VPN and that there is privacy while using Pure VPN. A lot of other VPN companies do not offer this. So it's a great thing to have and it's another reason why I would choose them. So if you're interested in Pure VPN, 
Um, right now, for just being my viewer, you can get 81% off of your subscription to Pure VPN. Uh, I will leave the description down in the comments as well as drop it down here in the video so you know where to go. And you will be only have to pay $2.08 a month for this great VPN service. Um, that's a steal, guys. Truthfully, that's a steal. So if this is something you're in the market for, check out Pure VPN. So next, guys, I want to bring you guys in and show you two ways that you typically connect through a VPN and exactly how they work to give you a better understanding of how the VPN could connect to uh, different clients. Now, I do want to say this is a high level. If you want to learn more about VPNs, you go into different um, courses and you can go into in depth on the Security Plus books and you'll be able to find really good information uh, about uh, VPNs as well as the encryptions that they use, the algorithms that they use and things like that. So let's get into that video and I'll give you guys a quick look. So the first kind of VPN connection that you will see in most organizations is going to be remote access. This is between a client and a data center typically, and this data center is typically gonna have a firewall or two on the external part of their network where you'll be able to connect to that firewall for VPN access. Now, of course, this is encrypted VPN tunnel access. Once you gain that VPN tunnel access, you would then have access into the internal network of that data center or of that organization. Now, this is typically what you're going to see when you go to work for any type of position. They're going to want you to VPN into their network if you're working remote. So to answer a lot of your questions, that's how you securely would traverse the uh, network of your organization in a secure encrypted fashion. So the next one is something that a lot of organizations use to securely talk to other organizations. And that's gonna be site to site VPN. That's gonna consist of an organization typically, as well as another organization, hence the name site to site. It's gonna first, there are two separate phases of this VPN connection. Here, the first VPN connection is going to be the phase one you will hear a lot is the Ike, the Internet Key Exchange. Now, there's different versions of this. They run different um, algorithms. And like I said, you can go into large depth with VPNs, but this is just a basic overview. After phase one is initiated and the key exchange has begun, you're going to go into the phase two. Phase two is what's going to give you your IPsec tunnel. The IPsec protocol is a suite of protocols for secure communications from one site to the other. Once this is done, you have your secure and safe communication from your VPN, from your site to the VPN of the other site that you're working for. Commonly, this is gonna consist of your firewall and another organization's firewall that share similar settings for their VPN to communicate from site to site securely and encrypted. So guys, I hope that you are excited for this series um, with Security Plus content that's going to be being streamlined to my channel um, going through different topics and a high level overview of them so you can get a better grasp of the security plus information now it is a disclaimer i do want to say that this is not the end all be all when it comes to security plus training this is going to give you a good base knowledge if there are things you're not familiar with that I'm talking about, please, please, please go in and do more in-depth knowledge to get a better understanding of some of these tools, attacks, and security controls that are talked about throughout the Security Plus 
training. So this one was VPN. I hope you guys liked it. Listen, if you have any questions, go into the comments. Let me know, please go down there and I will answer any VPN questions that you have. Um, I personally work on them often, so I am very educated when it comes to VPNs. And I hope that it was a good, you know, brush over the surface to get you really intrigued about VPNs and Security Plus overall. So I will catch you guys in the next video and thank you thank you thank you so much for all of your support your comments and your just continual um, dedication to learn cybersecurity. Uh, you can do it anybody can do it and try your best i believe in you i'll catch you in the next video guys